What's going on guys, it's your boy Easy Street from Easy Street Beats and today we're going to talk about the benefits and negatives of shooting videos in 2020. Some of the negatives with shooting music videos in 2020 uh, will be money. A lot of time artists aren't very serious about their music, sometimes they don't want to spend the money and uh, on top of them not wanting to spend money, music videos aren't as consistent as other forms of work that you could possibly be doing out there. Don't get me wrong, when you're shooting them they're great, you make a lot of money pretty quickly. Um, but the time and the effort that you have to put into music videos can uh, be a hindrance. You get to a video shoot, you spend hours upon hours shooting for somebody who, to be quite honest, really doesn't care about you in the first place. Sometimes you do build up uh, good relationships with the artist or the label or whatever the case may be and you guys hit it off just right. There is instances where uh, you get to a video shoot and the artist just cares about looking cool on camera. That's about it. Tip number two, to be quite honest, when it comes down to being a priority to the artist, uh, you are at the bottom of the totem pole. Artists have to think about studio time, paying for their beats, uh, you know, self-promoting, doing their marketing, and you're the least of their concerns when it comes to doing music. Uh, they just want to shoot a video, get a product out there, and be done with it. Music videos is one of the, the only forms of film where you, you're not cared about as much. Uh, when it comes down to weddings, if you've never shot a wedding, the, the bride and the groom want you to eat, they want you to drink, they want you to have fun with the family, and, and you just don't get that same vibe most of the time when it comes down to an artist. Unless you've built that bond up with that artist, nine times out of ten you're not going to have a great time at your shoot. Other than if they're like, if you set up a crazy shoot and, and, and everything's pretty much fun. But a lot of the times, you're not a huge priority. You know, weddings, you're a huge priority. Real estate, you're a huge priority. Uh, you know, just different forms of film. It, you're a more of a priority than you are when it comes down to music video and these artists that are shooting, you're shooting these music videos for. I also think it's really funny how you show up to a music video shoot and they just got the brand new bread 11s or bread 12s or whatever number Jordans it is that's out there at that time and and they're flashing money and they're popping bottles and they're doing this and doing that but when it comes down to you getting paid they want to pay you the least amount possible and I'm not trying to bash any of my clients because my clients always pay me but it's it's really funny a lot of the times how much money that they're showing on camera but at the same time they 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 really don't want to spend that much on a video due to the fact that they have other things that they want to spend their money on. Uh, just just keep that in mind anytime you want to shoot a music video and, and you name your price and the artist is like, hey, you know, that's too much. Can we do it for this? Can we do it for that? You know, stay stay firm on your prices and and what you say goes when it comes down to it. If, if the client doesn't want to spend that money, then you don't have to shoot the video. Just That's just plain and simple. If they don't want to spend that money, you do not have to shoot that video because your price is your price. Uh, Jordan sets his price for for his shoes, so if Jordan says I want two hundred and fifty dollars for these shoes, they're gonna spend it if they want it. So if they want, if you want to charge somebody five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred dollars for a music video, then that's your price. That's what you want. And if they want to get that video done, they're gonna spend it. So don't don't think that you have to second guess. What your price is, what your price should be, just because an artist does not want to spend that, is what I'm pretty much trying to say. Every artist that I've, I've met up with, I name a price, they pay me, we're good. So that would be my second tip. You're pretty much not a huge priority in the artist, uh, in the artist's eyes, I should say. Another thing that you guys want to think about is competition. Competition is not really something I too much focus on because I'm in my own lane, I do my own thing. But with the advancement of new technology, as far as new cameras being it's super, super cheap, you can get, matter of fact, the camera that I'm using right now, you can get this camera for 450 bucks if you want to. That is crazy. Look at the quality of this camera. If you wanted to go out and shoot something or shoot a music video, it takes nothing, no time to go get the camera that you need. I mean, and just for that simple fact alone, there's new videographers popping up left and right, left and right with the affordability of these cameras. You can get a, a dope camera, a dope gimbal, and a few fresh ideas. You can be a camera guy. Competition is at an all-time high. Like, guys are popping up left and right, man. But the, the best thing I can tell you is to just stay in your own lane, do what you do, make dope content, because the dope content is what's going to excel more than anything. If you just out here shooting something 
like off your off your camera phone, you're not gonna get as many clients as somebody that's shooting off of something that's more quality. And that that a lot of the times, a lot of artists don't really think about quality versus you know versus quantity. They want to shoot as many videos, but I don't think a lot of times they think about the quality of those videos. Competition is kind of a kind of a negative, but not really a huge negative because as long as you're putting out dope content, the competition it'll be there, but you'll be a bar above that competition. Competition can kind of stray you from pricing, you know, how you want to go about shooting your videos, trying to make this effect or this transition look better than this guy's, and um, you know, I've, I've, I've found myself in that position a few times, you know, trying to get the cheaper price so I can get that client versus this guy, but at the, same, at the end of the day, I'm doing nothing but hurting myself uh, in the process because me dropping my price, my, my quality and my time is worth more than dropping my price 50 bucks, 100 bucks less than the guy next to me. So, I mean, you just gotta think about that anytime you, you think about competition. It's nothing for you to get online and learn some new information about how to shoot music videos. You got guys like YC Imaging, Creative Ryan, Jacob Owens. I mean, the list goes on. You got guys like that that are out here teaching you things in order to make your videos that much better. Uh, so that that part right there is what's making it very hard for you know the small man to, to move up because there's so many other guys coming along uh, doing the same thing that you're doing. Now there is a lot of a lot of great things that I can say about shooting music videos. It's just the fact that you can be a, as creative as you want. Uh, you can put your most outlandish ideas into a music video and it, a music video really doesn't have as much structure as any other form of videography. If you're dealing with real estate videography, there's there's a lot of structure in that. If you're dealing with weddings, there's a no, whole nother lane of structure for that. And even just shooting short films or, or movies, there's a lot more structure to that. Uh, but shooting music videos, you can do something crazy. Like say you want somebody's eyeballs to pop out or if you want somebody's chin to move or you know, just the craziest ideas you can think of, you can put into a music video. And that's what that's what I really like about music videos. Anytime I just want to let loose, I can just do that within a music video. I, one of my favorite favorite examples is we had a crazy idea for Lil Reese's 21 video. And we had kids running around, you know, beating Lil Reese up and pulling him out of his car and they robbed him for his car, jacked his car, and he hauls off in the car and the, well, the kids haul off in the car and pretty much take a whole day just terrorizing the whole city. So, I mean, it was it was a dope idea, it was a great idea, um, but you, you couldn't put that kind of concept into anything else other than a music video, it just wouldn't make sense. Uh, but you can you can take a song like that and, and turn it into something truly amazing. My opinion on if whether or not music videos is worth it in 2020, the answer would be yes and no. Um, Yes, because it, it'll give you a great opportunity to, to build up, you know, some practice, uh, open your mind up to other things as far as the video world goes. And I would say no if you solely think that music videos is going to generate all the income that you need. Uh, if you think that, hey, go for it. But uh, I, I would not recommend just solely doing music videos to generate all the income that you would you would bring in, you know, to survive off of. That that'd be crazy to think of that for myself uh, personally. But, you know, people have done it and it can be obtainable. You just gotta put that extra work in. I think the one of the more important things about shooting museums is to have some sort of income slash revenue outside of music videos. Uh, whether that be shooting weddings outside of music videos, whether that be a little commercial gig on the side outside of music videos, or, uh, just selling digital products or merch even. Um, that's really what's gonna be beneficial in 2020, creating more income outside of music videos. Yes, music videos are great, I love them, I still do them to this day, but you have to think about more ways of making that, that, that wheel turn when it comes down to video work. So I want you guys to do me a favor, leave a comment below and let me know what you think about music videos, where they're going, uh, do you feel like they're too accessible, do you feel like uh, you know it's, it's a career path that you wanna go down, me personally, I'm gonna to continue to shoot music videos. Um, I like them; they're dope. I'm gonna keep doing them, uh, just because that's that's where I started it. That's you know that's that's my passion. So, 
but I, I'm really interested in let, you know knowing what you guys are into, you know what you guys think uh, for the future of music videos. Uh, so drop a comment below and let me know how what you guys think, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video.